All right, Thursday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Hope you had a good Thursday, everyone. The weather was definitely a little backwards today. Felt much warmer, much more humid this morning through the first half of this afternoon than it does this evening. The air mass change has occurred, and it is certainly very, very noticeable. Some of the numbers at the Youngstown Warren Airport today, we did 76 this afternoon, or I should say this morning. That high temperature, as expected, was much earlier than usual today, right before noon. Our average high on today's date is 65. Now at the airport, we picked up a little more than a, a quarter of an inch worth of rain earlier on today. Uh, some of the other local rain totals uh, a little bit higher than that uh, 0.28 that we saw at the Youngstown Warren Airport. In fact, if my graphic will advance, I'll show you. There we go. At my place in Boardman, at about a third of an inch. Here's our downtown uh, studios uh, rain gauge, about 0.32. A little bit higher than that in Canfield, down towards Lisbon and Guilford Lake. East Liverpool had about a quarter of an inch or so worth of rain, at least at that particular rain gauge. So a nice little drink of water this afternoon. We had a few showers this morning, but the heavier band moved through this afternoon. That was that band that moved through right there. Let me slow this down. And yeah, this was a pretty healthy downpour that moved through Mahoning County, parts of Mercer County, and then down into Columbiana County. Just as school was getting out in East Palestine, it was it was really pouring down there. And then down towards Wellsville and East Liverpool, uh, we had uh, some thunder and lightning just to the east of there at about 325 this afternoon. But then the sky cleared out and uh, a little bit of very last minute sunshine in parts of the valley this evening. Now the dew points have been plummeting, but notice how easy it is to find this front this evening. It is one of those days where it is a no brainer where the front is on the weather map. It's right there. 69 the dew point in Cincinnati, but 57 the dew point in Indianapolis. And then, of course, the air is a lot cooler to the north and west of this front. Check out Bismarck this evening, 33 degrees. Uh, Rapid City at 46. Thankfully, uh, our weather is not going to get as cold as, say, Bismarck, but it is going to be quite a bit cooler overnight tonight. That is for sure. And uh, real easy to find where our front moved through our region today. We had a dew point of 71 at 1 p.m., and then at 2 p.m. it was 65, and we've dropped all the way down to 51 for a dew point this evening. So again, a very different air mass pushing in much more typical of the uh, of the season for tonight. All right, the clouds will thin tonight. We'll have some sunshine at times tomorrow. It's going to be kind of one of those milky sun kind of a days where we're not going to see a pristine blue sky, but uh, through some high clouds, there'll be some sunshine. Any clouds out there will be uh, non-productive. We're not expecting any rain for Friday. It'll be a nice evening for high school football. Not that chilly by October standards uh, after high of 68. 64 at kickoff, and notice our temperatures hardly move. It's going to be one of those nights tomorrow night where temperatures don't drop very quickly at all. So while we'll drop well down into the 40s tonight, we probably won't drop below 60 in most of the valley tomorrow night. All right, shower thunderstorm is going to be a possibility for Saturday. Let me back this up real quick. That went by pretty fast. I, you know, yesterday I was thinking, and all, actually all week that I was thinking, the, the highest risk of a, a renegade shower or a storm maybe in the afternoon and evening on Saturday. Now I kind of suspect it's actually a higher chance with the warm front in the morning as our model shows here maybe a shower and thunderstorm in a few spots saturday morning the afternoon i just don't see much of a trigger anymore for any shower and thunderstorm activity so it's probably just partly sunny and dry with only a real slim chance of a stray shower or a storm saturday afternoon probably a higher risk of a shower and storm with this washing out front saturday night this front is you know just kind of washing out and becoming a non-entity by late saturday night and sunday morning but with that there could be a a shower or a storm. Check out the dew points uh, tomorrow. Very comfortable. 40s to around 50, but then that warm front comes through tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Dew points start rising through the 60s. And by the end of the day, Saturday, we're going to have dew points like we had earlier on today and last night around 70 degrees. Again, just really something for the first half of October. So here's what I've done with the YSU uh, game day, Penguin game day forecast for Saturday evening. Kick off at around 6 p.m. Game time temperature upper 70s to around 80. I have these low chances for rain. Don't emphasize the rain too much, but I can't rule out a spotty shower or storm. That includes for the parade, the homecoming parade, and then for the game Saturday evening. All right, I showed you this last night. So here's our forecast and the records for this stretch. Uh, I doubt we break any records. These records are pretty high for October, but we'll be within shouting distance of most of these, especially Monday and again on Tuesday, and even on Wednesday we'll be within 4 degrees of the uh, record. These records are all pretty old with the exception of Mondays, which dates back to a very warm October of 2007. I'll have more to say about October of 2007 in just a second. But, uh, another map I showed you last night, and, and if you compare what I showed you last night to today, you see the progression of the cooler air in the 8 to 14 day outlook. Uh, definitely a transitional period here in this, in this period at the end of next week into the following week with all the cold air that's been building out here starting to bleed east. Now it's certainly not going to be as cold here as it has been out across the uh, 
the western U.S. and up into Canada, but it is a cooler pattern that will settle in. Uh, you'll see that here on the European modeling at the end of next week into next weekend, those blues and greens, the cool anomalies, start coming east, but we never get into the heart of those blues and greens and even purples. So it's going to be a return to in the vicinity of average, but it's certainly not going to be the kind of a cold shot that we sometimes can get in October. It's just going to be an end to the ridiculous warmth, and not much more than that, really. And you'll see that here as we go through time. Here's Wednesday the 17th, so we're out into day 14 and 15 here. This isn't a super cold-looking weather map. It's just not as super warm as it has been lately and will be this weekend into next week. I want to mention briefly, it was 11 years ago, we had a very similar setup to this coming stretch. We had five consecutive days with highs in the mid-80s in early October of 2007, including an 87-degree day on the 8th, and lows in the 50s and 60s. We're going to have a very similar stretch to this coming up for the weekend through Wednesday. Notice what happened after that. We got into a much more typical October pattern for a lot of the second half of the month with a few warm days, of course, sprinkled in including an 80 on the 21st. October of 2007 was warm, but it never got as warm as it did during that five-day stretch in early October. By my account, from what I've looked at, that five-day stretch is the current record for the most consecutive days with highs in the 80s or above in the month of October in Youngstown. So we should tie that if our forecast verifies from Saturday through Wednesday. That's it for Weather for Weather Geeks this week. Hope you have a great Thursday night. Be sure and join me tonight on 21 News at 11 for a full weather update for Friday and the weekend. And I will see you back here for more Weather Geeks on Monday.